Getting close, chapter 22 from modern to postmodern. So key topics, musical assemblage happenings, part of the 60s and 70s, art from the 80s, and postmodernism. Oh goodness. Key terms, not gonna linger. All right. So after World War II, the center of the art world shifted from Paris to New York, understandably, right? With World War II, a lot of artists having to flee Europe and take their art with them so that it would not be stolen or destroyed. So the founding of the Museum of Modern Art happened in 1929, and it was the first Western art museum devoted to modern art. So many exiled European artists, like I said, moved to NYC during the war years during World War I. <clears throat> so painters associated with the first major post-war art movement is referred to as the New York School. It wasn't an actual school, it was just a group of artists, right? The leading artists were Pollock, de Kooning, and Rothko. And they formed what is called abstract expressionism, painting style influenced by surrealism, meant to be engulfed in the paintings, which were often executed on a very large scale. So Pollock, probably heard of him. He was uh, the drip painter, right? He would put sticks or paintbrushes inside of paint and then drip it directly onto the canvas.